Doc, how's it going? Not bad. All set for the party? What party? Oh, honestly, you're asking well, me and a ghost. Me and Roy will be there. Will you? Oh, yeah, we're just in the mood for a good old knees up. Yeah, and me. Should be a good laugh. Oh, well, we aim to please. I'm off to the cash and carry. Oh, don't go yet. Why won't we, Lon? Ian, I've been thinking. All right, Jamie. Right. You're late. Oh, sorry. Hey, you leave him alone. Mind your own business. Can you keep? No, well, it can't. He works really hard for you. Why aren't you at school? What's it to you? I've got enough lip with Martin, thank you. See you later. Yeah. See you later, eh? Hey, I'll drink a coffee. Melanie. Oh, no. No, thanks. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. I heard you the first time. What? Oh. What child school did you go to, eh? I want to get your money back. Yeah, well, if people didn't keep getting me up. Where's Matthew? Still in bed, feeling sick, is he? Nah, he, uh, he went away yesterday and you know, hasn't been back. Yeah, I saw him go. Looked like he was in a bit of a rush. What's his problem? <laughs> you know, you want to be more careful with your pals. What do you mean? Well, one of them's already done a bunk and then the other one's vanished. What are you? You jinxed? Look, he'll probably be back later. You know, when I see him, I'll tell him that No, you... no, no, you don't tell him nothing. You just come and find me. I don't like liars. How much longer am I going to have to keep covering for you, mate? Oh, Lads, please, be reasonable. Look, I can't get my hands on a grand just like that. All right, look, tomorrow. I'll have it for you tomorrow, I promise. Look, if you hurt me, I won't be able to get it. Mum, I ain't finished. Time's getting on. What's the hurry? Someone's got to pick up the wholesale orders. We're getting low on everything. Were you busy last night? Uh, not too bad, no. Well, then surely it can wait till after my breakfast, can't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I had a little drink with Louise last night. Louise was in the restaurant? Yeah, poor thing. She's really had a tough time of it, isn't she? What was she saying? Mm. Hello, love. Oh, no. That is red. Terrible. Do I get off to school, right? Yes. Don't you make this habit. <sighs> what was you saying then, Mum? Mm. Nothing much. I'll just get myself off to work then, shall I? No risk for the wicked, eh, Mum? He's in a good mood. Yeah, it's my fault. Uh, he's hung over. Bit of a night. What he never said. I can't remember the last time this family went out together, talked to each other like a family should. Yeah, I suppose it's been a while. What about tonight? Why don't I cook for us, all of us? Well, what about... The restaurant? Mm. Well, we could have the meal over there. I can still supervise. We'll get a couple of temps in. Carlo and Barbara. I'll call them. They'll do it. Yeah, all right. Oh, it'd be just like old times. Yeah. I'll bring some tins around later, Doc. I beg your pardon? For the party. It's the least I can do, isn't it? You... You have to be coming, then? Well, yeah. Lily said she wanted me there. Morning. Morning. Kettle's on. What are you after? Nothing. Well, good mood, that's all. Makes a difference, though, doesn't it, eh? Having something to think about, something to care about. What? Sue! Oh, right. Oh, you're getting on okay, then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. I'm pleased for you. Thank you. So, uh, how's it going with your fella? All right? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, he's really nice. Dead sweet. Good stuff. I can't stop thinking about him. Nice one. This wouldn't have happened if you'd left. Why didn't you go back to Sheffield? I changed my plans, OK? Now. You'll live. I need money, Alex. I really need some money. I've done everything I can. But you could give me something. I arranged a fare back to Sheffield. 
What did you do with the money? Because you didn't buy a bus ticket, did you? I need more. They're after me. I've run out of excuses with them. Who? The people who did this? I told you. I fell. <laughs> what, onto a signet ring? They want the cash. If I don't give it to them, I'm dead. If you're in some kind of trouble... They want a grand. We don't have that kind of money. You've got to help me. Look, I'll make a few calls. I'll see what I can do. But I'm not promising. Thanks. Uh, two bacon songs, Pat. Coming out. Oh, cuppa, please, Pat. Oh, Lenny, you must come to my housewarming party tomorrow night. Well, I... You will. And please bring that nice young man, Matthew. Yeah, well, if I see him, I'll tell him. There you go. Two bacon sign. Is that for 240 tar? Thanks. That's it, love. Exactly. You eating for two, are you? No, I'm just starving. <laughs> oh, Lily, you are a silly old fool. <laughs> I missed the coach back to Mum and Dad's last night. I got back late. Well, he nearly gave me the shock of my life. And I'm sure Steve knows that you're back. He can't do. Look, what have you done? Why is he so keen to see you? Well, I missed a couple of sessions down the club and he doesn't like being messed about. And that's all? Of course. Can we get over it? it? You better get over it. I mean, look at you. If someone said boo, you'd be climbing the walls. There is nothing wrong with me. I'm just tired. The sooner you see Steve, the better. He keeps bumping into me. It's like he's following me around. Barry's taking an early lunch. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm seeing him later tonight for a drink. I see. I just wanted to say thank you for setting me up with such a top bloke. He's, he's great. He's so funny. He really takes me out of myself. He laughed and laughed the other night. At what? Things, life, everything, you know. We're so alike, so well suited. You are clever. Thanks. Because it's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? I mean, we might look suitable for each other on paper, but if there's no spark or magic when we first meet, nightmare. And he feels the same about you, does he? Oh, yeah. He's the one who keeps pushing it. He's dead keen. So you think there might be a future for you both? I do. All thanks to you. And uh, Barry's comfortable with everything? They always made himself very comfortable. I meant about the fraud conviction. I haven't mentioned that. I thought well, we'd uh, agree... I don't know if I ought to say anything, but... Barry doesn't like secrets. He's very funny about women keeping things from him. We all have our little secrets. Little, yes. Nobody's perfect. Look, Barry was let down once by a woman. He told me that she lied to him about everything, about who she was, what she was, even how she felt about him. I'm not like that. Oh, I know. I know. But Barry won't see it like that. A lie's a lie as far as he's concerned, and if he finds out you haven't been truthful... I can't tell him. He might think, what else hasn't she told me? Hello, Louise. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Everything all right? You? Well, I care about you, don't I? Yeah, right. Louise, I do. So, did you score last night, then? On your little boy's night out? Rosa told me all about the girlfriend. Do you know how that felt? Hearing that I've been dumped by you from someone else. Are you ever going to tell me? You don't get it, do you? I'll say this for you. You're convincing. You had me fooled. I thought you were decent. I fell for it. Louise, you got it all wrong. Oh, yeah. Rosa told me everything. She doesn't know anything. I lied to my family to save you any asset. Oh, well, that really helped. They wouldn't have liked this. I just made up a little story, you know. Well, maybe you should have been honest with them. Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Louise, you're a fine one to talk about family honesty. I did that to do you a favour, you know. Of course 
you're included. Great, I thought I was working tonight. I'm getting some temps in. I want us all sitting down together as a family, like we used to when your father. It's been too long. I know. It's going to be lovely. Yeah, it will. Enough. Table five. Go and take their order. Seven o'clock. Want us all sat down here together? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Giuseppe always used to say he was at his happiest with his family around him. Food on the table, good wine to Yeah, well, he obviously got his priorities right. Good old Giuseppe. Jeff? Got to get on. If you're worried about the Thames, don't be. We've used them before at the old place. Everything will be fine. Yeah, well, if they come recommended by Giuseppe Di Marco, they must be OK, then. Oh, I know how you're feeling. Well, I can't pretend he never existed. He did. I was married to him for 25 years and I loved him. I can't do anything about that. I know. It's just the way you go on about him. I don't go on about him. You make him out to be some kind of saint. Protector of the family, the, the great provider, Giuseppe the Good. Is that so terrible? No, if that's the way it was. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's, it's none of my business. I mean, I never even knew the guy. What do I know? Who have you been talking to? Nobody. He's been talking to you, hasn't he? What's he been saying? I'm, I'm sorry if you thought I was Chris. I want to know! Drop it, Rosa, please. Just drop it. Hi, Cody. Lovely. Enjoy. Ta-da. I forgot to tell you Sue came by. I know, yeah, yeah. She left me a note. Yeah. Can't wait to see you again this evening. Yeah. Where are you going? No, a special. Vic, probably. She's great, though, isn't she, you know? It's, uh, I know it's early days, but it just seems so right. Like it was meant to be. Oh, about time, Josie. I'll have a tomato juice. I'll get that. And a beer for me and whatever you're having. Oh, thank you very much. So I hear you're having a party then, Doc. Is there anyone in Walford what don't know? Are you coming? I'd love to. But I've got a club to run. Oh, well, just as well. I don't think there's no room for no one else. Lily has gone overboard. Wait till I see her. Yeah, I saw her inviting Lenny and Matthew. Matthew? I thought he'd go and see his family. Is that right? Well, I just assume, you know, seeing he's going around to set his stall up. Well, that's one less to cater for tomorrow night, isn't it? Uh -huh. Don't think one less will make no difference. You're a gentleman. Cheers. You will keep the noise down, though, won't you? What do you take us for? Hooligans? It's my night off. I want to catch up on my sleep. You want to start getting out and enjoying yourself. Oh, there you are. What have you been playing at? <laughs> 30 volavant cases and me up and playing up, and you go and invite a crowd big enough to fill Wembley. It'll be fine. Oh, it would be if I had some help. Oh, which reminds me, guess what I found when I was doing the housework this morning, all on my own. Where did you find that? Under the sofa, where you dropped it. And you said all them nasty things about Gareth. Shame on you. Anything else? Depends. What are you offering? That, that'll be AP. So, do you like working in there? Yes, OK. Come on. See you later. What are you going to do with the light bulb? Who cares? You know, I'll explain. Hey. Bunch of the Vic. Why can I? Jamie can't cope with this slot on his own. Yeah, but I want to see you. You can see me any time. I'm supposed to be over at one of the cheap shops. Look, I've rearranged everything so I can spend an hour or so with you. You're the boss, so why don't you rearrange it and go back over there? Half hour. All right, I'm going. Guess on your wick, doesn't it? What does? You row this, you row that. Balls me to tears. Um, yeah. Look, um, what is it you want? I need a phone number. Matthew's parents. Yeah. OK. Come in, shall I? Everything all right? Yeah. Look, uh, what do you want the number for, anyway? It's where he's gone, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Look, I gave him the bus fare the other week to get himself there. Did you? I really need to speak to him, Lenny. 
It's important. Is this it? Um, thanks. Jamie, you know those gold photo frames? Gold? Or the gold plastic ones? Yeah. Have you sold any today? No. They've been nicked. There were four here this morning when I looked. You sure? Yeah, of course I am. Sometime between ten o'clock and now. I mean, did you notice anything? Anyone acting strange? I don't think so. Keep an eye on the shop floor, will you? I don't want to end up having to hire security guards again. OK. These are for the party. Hey, Mano. Well, we did think we had enough crockery in the flat till she invited the world and his wife. All this money for these plain ones? Haven't you got any with a pattern? We have got some Christmas plates and cups left over, but they've got Santa Claus and Holly on them. Well, in April... They are half price. We'll have all you got. Oh, Rosa, I'm sorry. I told you, forget it. I should have kept my big mouth shut. He was repeating gossip. I thought you were better than that. I'm going to go and meet Beppe for a drink. Mum? What? I'll see you later. Have you hired the extra staff for tonight? Nope. What do you want me to do it for you? Look, I hope you will forget what I said. Beppe probably didn't mean anything. Let me tell you something about Beppe. He's a hypocrite. It's all right for him to do his own thing when he feels like it. Even if it means breaking the law, he can live with that. But it's another set of rules for other people. He expected his father to be perfect. Well, Giuseppe was only human. Beppe couldn't accept that. He'll realise, Rose. Of course he will. Look, why don't we just sit down and have a chat about it? No, thanks. I've got a business to run. Bit of a romantic, eh? Sloppy video. Bottle of wine, feet up on the sofa with a girl of your choice. Nothing wrong with that. You're going to cook for her as well? That's the idea. Good man. Cheers. See you. Right, well, I'd better be off. Are you sure you don't mind keeping an eye on the place? Least I could do. Got to get changed in there. Clean up a bit for tonight, you know. You really like it, don't you? I do. Yeah. Well, uh, have a good night. You too. Hiya. What, Alex? Alex! Did you get anything? Look, Gareth, this is about me trying to help you. I'm not some kind of debt clearer. I've arranged everything for you over at St Pancras. Why? They'll give you a train ticket. I don't need a ticket. I want the cash. The fund won't give you the cash. There's a ticket to Sheffield waiting for you. I've got to have the money. A train ticket's no good to me. Gareth, you need to go home. What? So I can be on the run there. They'll find me eventually, Alex. Oh, you just don't get it. Hiya. And you drink? I'd rather go straight home. Ian, I really need to talk to oh, you. Oh, come on, just one drink and then we'll go, eh? Remember, I'm cooking tonight. I've got us a video in and some decent wine. Ian. Look, it's all right. I've talked to the kids and they're fine about it. It's all arranged. They're going to go to bed early. So I'll see you in a bit. Hurry up and finish. Quiet night in, eh? Give it a rest. Did you see that? What? He can't look me in the eye. He's so shy. He's a... Look, we've done it again. Keeps looking at me and then looking away quickly. I'm not imagining it, am I? I don't think so. Oh, he's so shy. I love him. Why not, eh? Right, we are off out for the evening. Really? Ian, this is my, uh... Well, this is Sue. Sue, this is Ian. Pleased to meet you. All right. He's a bundle of fun, isn't he? Oh, him. He's always like that. Yeah. Is it OK with you if, if, if I call you my girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. 
There's still so much you don't know. Hey, I know how I feel about you. Come on. I'd like to buy you a drink. Why? Well, people haven't treated you very well round here, have they? And I suppose I'm the same. Money's no object. I wonder if you'd be interested in a proposition. Like what? Our oven has gone on the blink. And I wondered if you would help us with the cooker and help us get everything ready for the party. I'd see you all right. Really? Promise. Uh, and you know what I need? I mean, you've spoken to Alex, right? Oh, yes. Right. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Usual. The drink can wait. This can't. What's wrong? I've got to tell you, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. What? There isn't an easy way to say this. Say what? I don't want to stop seeing you, Ian. It's not like that. So what is it like, then? You, know, you think I haven't been here before? I can hear it in your voice. I think I need to move out. Just like that? I'm going to move into the vicarage with Alex and Dad. But it's not forever. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Just let me down gently. Start ignoring my phone calls, find some reason why not to come out. Just hope I'll go away. No. I thought you were different. What happened to the tent? Mum has a book to issue. Why not? You tell us. Mum, Nicky's with Sonia Pats. I can't drag her away. I'll go back later. Leave her there. It don't matter. Of course it matters. She should be here. The meal's cancelled. I wouldn't fire you. If you're worried about hurting my feelings, don't. I've been through worse than this and lived to tell the tale. Why won't you listen to me? I just need some space to myself. I feel stifled. <sighs> Why don't you tell me before if that's how you felt? I mean, I thought we were fine. I don't want more space. I want you. I mean, is that so awful? No. You don't understand. <sighs> what did I do? I mean, what is it you don't like? I mean, just tell me. I'll change. I'll stop. You know how much you mean to me. You must. Hiya. Have you seen Barry? You've just missed him. Where'd they go? Search me. My friend has just informed me that she's invited young Jamie to our housewarming tomorrow. Well, there's no way I'd want you left out. So I'd love it if you'd come, the both of you. I don't think so, darling. Oh, of course. You want to be by yourselves, I suppose. Well, the invitation still stands, you know, if you change your mind. Sorry, Doc. I can't make it. Ian! I think you're sitting in my seat. Steve! I called your dad. He said you'd forgotten something, which is true, of course, because you have. Your loyalty to me. <laughs> now, don't make a scene. I'm getting off. Mum, this morning you're all excited about a family dinner. Now you don't care. I'm not the one who doesn't care. You really are a two-faced hypocrite, aren't you? What? I've got the seat of the rubbish. You stay where you are. If anyone should leave this kitchen, it's not you. What's the matter with you? You've been drinking. Table number two's just all the cuts, on it? Doesn't want no basil in his tomato sauce. No, no basil. Why are you going to come to an Italian restaurant you don't want no basil? Do you know why she's like this? Nothing to do with me, mate. I'm very busy. You should talk to your brother about family and what it means. He knows. It's about loyalty. It's about respect. I know about respect. Oh, no, you don't. Gianni and I have our ups and downs, but he has never once abused his father's name. I know what you've been saying, Beppe. Whatever he said, I loved him, all right? You were always the first to criticise, to condemn. Your father worked so hard for you, for all of you, and all you ever did was take. You never once gave anything back. I'm really trying to make up for that. I'm doing my best to put something back. Words, Beppe. They're just words. We call this place Giuseppe's after your father, out of our love for him, out of our respect for him. Oh, is that what you were thinking when you invited George Palmer in here? When you invited him into our house? When you slept with him? 
like you to leave. Now. Well, there's nothing to say. So you got on the bus by mistake, is that it? No, I had to see my folks. But you said I could go. You even gave me the money. That was when I trusted you, man. I don't anymore. I was going to come back after a few days. All oh, right. Do I look stupid to you, do I? Eh? Because I must. You lied to me about the money. You told me it was for Martin. You quite conveniently forget to tell me about the burglary the other night. Now I kept you trying to grab a quick holiday with your mum and dad. What's going on, eh? Huh? I'm scared, all right? I got into a lot of trouble and I didn't know what to do. You should have come to me first. But I won't say anything, I promise. I just want to see my mum and dad. You know where I'll be. I won't talk to anybody. Now, from now on, I'm not going to let you out of my sight. I want to forget this has happened. I can't let you do that, man. You know, you forget what happens, you might slip up, say something you shouldn't. I wouldn't. You're coming back to Wolford, wouldn't you? Otherwise, people are going to start to get suspicious. I don't want to go back. I'm just getting the car. Steve, you can trust me. You're you not can. listening to me, man. Please, just get Steve. in the car. Please, I just You're want to go. You're to make me angry. I like getting my own way, man. You know that, don't you? Huh? You've seen what happens to people that get in my way.